Brittany from Fitness with Britt, and today I want to talk to you uh, about something that seems to plague a lot of people, and uh, it, it honestly, it's probably one of my weaknesses, but today's topic is going to be how to avoid sweets. Uh, with the upcoming holidays, you know, it's kind of tough. We're in October, so we have Halloween coming up, and then of course Thanksgiving and Christmas, so I'm hoping that these, uh, I have five practical tips. I'm hoping that these tips kind of help you on this journey. Um, I want you to know right from the beginning, I am definitely not perfect. So you might see me eating chocolate, <laughs> some of my son's chocolate at, uh, and Halloween. But the point is like, as long as 80% of the time you are eating clean and 20% of the time maybe you do indulge in some of those sweets, you're okay. I'm not here to tell you that you have to eat perfect all the time because that is definitely not me. Uh, I have my days, I have my weeks, but my biggest thing is that I always get back on track. I think that's one, one thing, one positive aspect of my nutritional lifestyle is that I might have times where I fall off the wagon, but it takes me not as long to get right back on because I've been doing this a while. So, and I wouldn't even call it falling off the wagon. It's just more like, you know what? I have a few bad days and then I get back to normal. So to start off right from the beginning, uh, how to avoid sweets. Uh, some of my tips are practical, but you might be thinking, well, how, how does that relate to sugar? Well, I'm here to tell you that my first tip is eat clean, okay? Processed foods nowadays have a ton of hidden sugars in them, a ton of hidden sweeteners. And what you might not know is that that actually makes you crave those sugars like more often. Um, it's actually, interesting fact, sugar is similar, it reacts similarly in your body as like maybe a drug would, a drug that you would get addicted to. And I think they're actually recognizing that now as an addiction. Um, sugar can actually create this addictive feeling, like this feeling of always needing it. So, um, you know, that's why processed foods tend to make you want to turn to those things. Uh, you know, if you get really snacky in the afternoon, you almost have to be mindful of like what you've eaten throughout the day. Now that's not always typical, but I have noticed that the cleaner my meals are, the less I want to reach for the sugar. Um, so my second tip for you is make sure that it, at each of your meals, you are eating enough food. Um, really scaling back if you're trying to diet or if you're trying to limit your, your caloric intake, uh, sometimes that can create these hungers or these cravings in you because you're not eating enough at each meal. You're not having enough. Uh, so my third tip for that would be to actually tie in more protein into each of your meals. The protein is going to help keep you fuller longer, which helps kind of tone down those cravings or completely eliminate them. Like I said, if you're eating clean, uh, you're eating enough at each meal, and then you add protein in, you're less likely to reach for all of those sugary sweet treats to help help you you know be help you in your cravings um, or you're less likely to reach for them because you won't be craving sorry <laughs> um, so the fourth thing would be you know I am a huge I have a huge sweet tooth even on my cleanest of clean days sometimes when you know that dinner time comes around and afterwards I'm hanging out I want something sweet it's just in my nature. So I'm not here to tell you that, I, it, like I said, I'm not here to tell you that I'm perfect. I'm not here to tell you that I always avoid sweets because that's definitely not the case. What I tell you, what I'm telling you now though, is that I want you to swap out those sweets for a healthier version. So for example, I'm a huge, huge, huge chocolate eater. So what I do to help with my chocolate cravings or my, you know, those tendencies to want something sweet after my meals is I make a healthier version. And you know, some of my examples would be I, I drink protein shakes and so I take one of those and I will mix it with a little bit of coconut oil and pour it on a plate uh, so it's like a little light battery consistency and I will freeze it and then when I pull it out of the freezer I break it up like bark so it's like a chocolate bark that one's really easy and it's good for you because it's a protein shake my next one would be uh, I think I posted a recipe the other day of avocado chocolate mousse it is so so good uh, it's all clean ingredients all natural or all, you know, mostly healthy ingredients and, you know, you use a natural sweetener to give it a little bit of flavor, but it's seriously amazing. That was my weakness for a while. And then my next one is protein balls. <laughs> that one I think you could definitely go overboard with, but they have, you know, like some oats and peanut butter and maybe a little bit of dark chocolate chips. It gives you enough of that sweet treat and yet at the same time, uh, it, it's an energy ball. It's going to give you a little bit of protein uh, and help you kind of get through, keep your energy level up and stuff. So you're not having that big crash if it was actually something truly sugary and chocolate. 
So then my final tip is to drink plenty of water. I know, you know, it's been said before, but water is so important. Um, I'm, a, I'm definitely an advocate for drinking lots of water because I can tell when I haven't had enough, I feel dehydrated and dehydration makes you feel lethargic. And when you're feeling lethargic, you actually reach for the carby, sugary filled foods because those things actually give you that quick boost. That a lot of times that's why we reach for sweets is because we're, we're tired, um, you know, maybe mid afternoon crash or maybe, like I said, maybe you're dehydrated. And so what happens is you reach for those sweets to give you that boost back up, that little bit of sweetness, that sugar to give you that boost back up, but then you crash 20 times worse, you know, after you've had it. So that would be my biggest thing. So here to recap a little bit, the, my first tip is to eat as clean as possible. Like I said, I'm not perfect. So, but as, as long as like 80% of your meals are clean, you tend to reach for the sugary sweets less often. Um, my second one is make sure that you're eating enough at each meal. My third one is make sure that your meals have protein. Is If every meal has protein, it'll keep you fuller longer. You're less likely to reach for the sweets. My fourth one is to swap out those sweet treats for healthier versions. And finally, my fifth one is to drink plenty of water. Like I said, I'm not perfect, so I definitely have my treats every now and then. They're not always healthy versions, but as long as 80% of the time my meals are fairly clean, I tend to reach for the naughty stuff less often. So I hope that helps. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Fitness with Brittany. Be sure to like this video and send me a comment. I would love to hear from you, and I'll see you in the next video.